Sometimes we'll show up to a photo shoot with a little bit of stubble. We'll forget to shave, whatever the reason. Photoshop can help you reduce that stubble. I'll show you how. So it's kind of difficult to remove stubble completely, um, but it really depends on how much stubble is on a person's face. So this is Ted Payson. He's a friend of mine who works here at Mahalo.com, and he helped me with a little photography experiment. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is basically reduce his stubble. And there's a couple of filters you can use as well as uh, a little bit of the healing brush tools, but mostly the filters. So first what we're going to do is duplicate this layer. And we'll call it stubble. Now we're going to go to filter, noise, dust and scratches. This is a cool little filter that basically helps take everything out just a little bit. So that should be enough. Radius is at about 7 pixels with a threshold at about 12 levels. Press OK. Now what we want to do is take this picture and make it a pattern that you can use for paint brushes. So I'm going to go to Edit, Define Pattern, and we'll call it Stubble. Now we want to undo the dust and scratches. Go back to our original image. Now we're going to add a new layer, and we'll call it Stubble 2. And we're going to lower the opacity of this layer to 75%. Now I'm going to grab my healing brush, and uh, under Mode I'm going to keep it at Normal, and under Source I'm going to put it at Pattern, and I'm going to choose the one I just created, Stubble. Make sure that it is a lot, your aligned box is checked, and when you're sampling, you're sampling all layers. And then just start painting over the stubble. And you can see it doesn't get rid of it, but it certainly reduces it, makes it much less noticeable. Okay, so it's definitely looking better. Here is the after, and here is the before. Definitely a difference. Now we're going to just help it out a little bit more. What we're going to do is click on the Layer Styles button and click Blending Options. And we want to change the channel of the blend to red because his face is uh, basically has a red tonality or a red tone. And uh, you just basically change these settings to help with the blur. And it basically combines the image a little bit better to make it look less blurry. So it looks more natural on his face. So that looks pretty good. Once again, after and before. Bef after, before. So it definitely helps. Um, it's difficult to completely get rid of stubble without uh, a lot of adjustments using the spot healing brush, patch tools, things like that. Um, but you can certainly reduce it and help create less of a distraction when it comes to stubble. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions or requests regarding touch-ups and enhancements for Photoshop, please send me an email to requests at mahalo.com. And please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks.